Instead of suffering through the YouTube chat, click like and subscribe. So the uh, Bound for Glory show, just a couple of notes since we're talking about it here. I didn't watch the show, but if I would have seen them putting on that Joe Hendry match before the Full Metal Mayhem match, you can argue that, well, you're not going to be able to follow a Full Metal Mayhem match, so. But that kind of would have told me Joe Hendry ain't winning that title. And he didn't. Nick Nemeth beat him. Frankie Kazarian was a special guest referee. They had some uh, shenanigans and such. And uh, and that was that. So, JBL. Not enough believing in old Joe Hendry. Yeah, JBL. Nick Nemeth and JBL have a partnership that stretches across TNA, AAA, and World Wrestling Council in Puerto Rico. It's the oddest thing, it seems like, but... And maybe maybe even in GCW where JBL has showed up as well, too. So I wonder if he's going to be a regular now on TNA. Uh, I, I guess that could be the case. But maybe Joe Hendry's got other bigger things coming to him in that TNA title. Maybe not uh, as important right now. Who knows? Well, you know, it is possible that they didn't put the title on him because he was potentially going to WWE. That is possible. But, I mean, you've also got a, you know, WWE and TNA are, are uh, you know, they're working together. And I don't have any inside information. Maybe that's exactly why they didn't. But it's October, and you could have given the guy a run. I mean, sure. look at it this way. Look at it this way. Let's say I'm WWE, okay? I would, I would want him to have had the TNA title. It's something extra. And, you know, from the TNA perspective, well, what would you do? Because you could argue, well, if he's going to be leaving, I mean, we shouldn't give him a short title run. But, you know, it also, if the guy's leaving one way or the other, well, is it, uh, is it a benefit to TNA or not to say that, hey, man, our world champion, or, well, he'd obviously have lost a title by then, but... You know, one of our one of our world champions has moved on to to WWE. I think it was uh, maybe just a booking decision, but I don't know. I guess we'll uh, we'll know soon enough. Be interesting to see who he does lose that title against. Now, Frankie Kazarian, who was lariated by JBL in that match earlier on in the show, won a choose your uh, championship gauntlet. I forget what they they call the deal at the uh, during the pre show. Defeated Rhino, so he gets to have a title shot against anybody he wants coming up during the year. So maybe they're going to do something with Kazarian and Nemeth. Maybe that's what it is. But when you really look at it, other than Joe Hendry, I don't know who they could have put the belt on. Who's there? Where? it could have actually gotten some traction and some more attention. He seemed like the best guy, so it would be interesting to see what they actually decide to do next. Someone here says Joe himself tweeted he's out of there. No, he didn't. He did not. No, he did not. He <laughs> he did a tweet that had a uh, Royal Rumble countdown, and that does not mean he's out of there because AW, or I'm sorry, uh, WWE has had TNA wrestlers and champions in the Royal Rumble before, and they made their appearance. They did some other appearances, but they were still in TNA. Joe Hendry can be in the Royal Rumble without leaving TNA and signing with WWE. I don't even know what his contract status is. So this is a wait and see. Now, the Hardys did win the tag team titles in the Full Metal Mayhem match. So the fans went home happy. Beat the system and uh, Ace Austin and Chris Bay to win those titles. And... Uh, one more title run for Matt and Jeff Hardy. And those were the, uh, I heard the last three matches, the Masha Slamovich a victory over Jordan Grace for the uh, knockouts title, the Nemeth and Hendry, which of course uh, was storyline, and then the main event were, uh, were very good. So that's the update on that show. And this was also interesting. TNA reportedly wanted to induct AJ into Hall of Fame. But according to Fightful, uh, WWE passed on the opportunity. And I'm sure some of you will say, ah! Well, listen. He signed to WWE. And I would bet you dollars to donuts that if he'd already gone into the WWE Hall of Fame, they would have said that's fine. 
But the fact that he has not gone into the WWE Hall of Fame, I don't think they want somebody else getting the big first AJ Styles into the Hall of Fame moment ahead of them. So that's my guess as to why they they turned down his induction. But I would bet that he's going to end up in all these Hall of Fames in a few years. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.